we know exactly where we need to place the rest of our fillers. Everyone. Welcome to my channel. It's Marissa from MB's Creative Creations. So for today's DIY, I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful centerpiece for Thanksgiving. It could also be uh, maybe just some decor for a fireplace mantle or maybe a table entryway. And I am showing you how to make two, so in case you want to use it at a Thanksgiving dinner table, you have these beauties right here. So let's not waste any time and let's get on into the video. Here are the materials that I will be using today. I have three types of ribbon. I actually picked this, recently picked this one up at the Dollar Tree and I had these from last year. Also from last year I had this uh, deco mesh left over as well as some Chanel ties. I have um, floral foam that, that come in a pack of two so you'll only need one pack. I do have some acorns again from the Dollar Tree from last year and I did stop by and pick up this candle holder from the Dollar Tree and I did stop by at Hobby Lobby to get some felt and I got two pieces and they were 33 cents a piece also we are going to be using some florals I have some mums here from the Dollar Tree some sunflowers and some maple leaves. Other things that we are going to be using are of course our scissors, glue gun with our glue sticks. I am using the Gorilla glue sticks. I feel like the they are so much better than just the regular ones. But again, it's your choice. And then we are going to need a candle. Um, I just had this one from my decor. I just went shopping in my house and so I have this here. Um, so I'm going to be using it for my DIY. So the first thing that I am doing is actually just taking a marker and tracing my floral foam. and then I'm going to cut them out next. Okay, so the next step is actually to glue the felt onto the floral foam. So you, you see you, can, you have a, a black mark here where I traced. So what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to use this black mark side up. It's not really going to be seen so it doesn't make a difference. However, the felt um, I am going to use side up so that all my florals can can cover the mark there. So I'm just going to add some glue and of course be very generous. And then I'm just going to smooth it out. Now you don't have to do this step but I found that the the floral foam was really kind of rough on surface so I wanted it to be a little bit smooth and that's why I decided you know that would just be a really great way of um, you know kind of smoothing it out there okay so now that we are done what I'm gonna do is actually go in and start putting in my florals first now, I'm cutting them not too, not too long, but still not too short. And actually, this could be a little um, shorter too, just because the felt, I mean, sorry, the floral foam here is very thin. So I'm going to make sure that they're kind of around the same size. And 
the next thing that I've been doing is actually because they fall out so what I do is I just put a little bit of my glue on the tip and then glue it back and then you don't ever have problem with them falling out ever again I'm going to give you guys an additional tip so when you cut out all your flowers save these wires here because I'm going to show you what we're going to do with them okay so I've cut all my florals down pretty much um, I did leave the stem just a little bit longer because you can always cut down shorter but you can never make them longer again and I went in and I hot glued all of them so they don't come off so now the a really good tip when you're doing any type of floral arrangement is you want to make it even and what I mean by that is if I'm going to put a floral on this side I'm gonna go around and put the same floral on the other side there so we're going to start off with our daisies and I'm going to stick it in here now what I'm doing is when I'm adding my florals I'm actually not putting them exactly in the middle of the floral foam but just a little bit higher just because when it lays down it the florals don't push up the floral foam if that makes sense and then I am actually kind of bending it just a little bit as well so now that I have this floral, this daisy here, I'm going to go in onto the other side and put in a daisy there as well. So what I'm going to do now is go in still with all my other daisies and put them on the other side so that I can just enter the moms on the other side. Okay, so now that that is in, I'm going to go in with my moms and just insert them wherever and just fill pretty much they're like fillers and just fill them in okay so that is what it looks like and then I'm just gonna go in and kind of rearrange my florals and just kind of push them up a little bit or twist them up a little bit just so that the foam floral foam doesn't feel like it's rising up And of course, you're going to have something heavy on here, but, you know, I would like all of my florals not to, you know, get all bent from laying flat. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my, my candle holder and put it in the center. And you could trace over it or you can just push down to make the mark, but, um, this type of floral foam is kind of really strong so just tracing over if you get any type of mark on your candle holder what you can do is go in with some alcohol and just rub it off um, I'm sorry clean it off okay so now we have we know exactly where we need to place the rest of our fillers which would be our maple leaves, our deco mesh. Okay, so now we have more of an idea of where to place our other type of fillers in. I'm gonna put this to a side. I have my Chanel tie here. And I'm just going to cut that in half. And now I'm gonna cut my deco mesh. And I don't have exact measurements, um, but I saw what's her name the southern girl she makes these cute wreaths with deco mesh however this is how she measures and I I just measure the same way so I kind of adopted that technique from her so we're gonna cut four pieces in And I have some just kind of scraps of ribbon that I'm just going to, I already have 
I already dovetailed it, but I'm going to just use it as well. So I'm going to cut it about the same length, maybe just a tad bit longer. And I love this ribbon because there is actually a line and that you can just cut it and it is straight. So there's that one. All right. So then now all we're going to do is grab our deco mesh, roll it back up. And then I put it in between my fingers, roll up the other one, again in between the fingers, I'm going to grab my ribbon. The most important thing is making sure that everything is even. And then I'm going to kind of just pinch it in the middle and I'm going to grab my Chanel tie. And what I'm going to do is actually, I like to just pull it up like this and then twist. And then what I do is I separate my ribbon like that. What you can do with any little flyaways is just cut them off. This is the one thing that I really don't like with working with deco meshes that has little flyaways, but it's really not a big deal. We're going to come back to this, and I really kind of noticed that it's kind of not centered right. So I'm just going to retrace this. So we kind of get the idea of it. Um, Alright, so the next thing I'm going to do is remember I was telling you not to throw these out so I'm going to cut a couple of them off and I'm just going to make sure they are the same size and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use this with my I'm going to actually glue it and then tie my ties around there so that I have, I can stick them on here. And the next thing I'm going to do is actually now just insert them here. So I put my candle holder back just to kind of be more of a guide and I did glue these down. One thing that I forgot to mention to you is that um, you can actually glue all your florals in if you want this to be permanent. Um, I didn't do that but I would recommend doing that. So then the next thing that we're going to do is I'm going to grab all my maple leaves and I'm just going to add them here on, on the other sides um, just to kind of fill it in. So here we're just filling everything in and with my maple leaves I am doing the same thing is just gluing so that it doesn't come undone. Then I'm just going to add some glue and place it in. And then here on, on this side, I really don't like that I could see the Chanel ties here. So what I'm gonna do is grab my acorn And I'm just going to glue it on top. Here's what they look like done and I am absolutely speechless. They speak for themselves. They are gorgeous and I cannot wait to put them in the office. These are going to be displayed in our office. However, you can use them in your dining room table. You can 
put them in the entryway table, even a fireplace mantle. Just be creative of where they go. I really hope you guys recreate this and do not forget that my social media is linked down below. I would love to see your pieces. Don't forget to follow me and tag me on there. I really hope you guys enjoyed this DIY and as always if you did do not forget to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell on your way out and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye!